Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park, with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. How's it going, pals? This is Ernest, and welcome to Lake, where a post office worker. Hmm. These look like bills. Well, aren't you nosy? Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. Ha! <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here for Massachusetts 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Ooh, a package. All right, only one of them. Nice house. So who's going to answer the door? Nope. No answer. Okay. There you go. Nobody at all. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. There's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. 
Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. All right, we're going home, it seems. Or at least our mom and dad's house. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? All right, here we go. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! All right. Okay, so there's our map, and we got a few different packages. Probably go to our left first and take care of that one. Okay, it's very sensitive driving. Looks like this is a package. Probably gonna be this one because it's the only one on Main Street. I'm going into a general store. Hello. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. Oh, wow. So okay. now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Okay, that was a very odd conversation, honestly. Okay, it looks like we gotta deliver a mail here. Mail. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. All right. And let's see. We have one all the way down there. We're just going to take I'm care of that one. Actually enjoying this. Are you? I mean, that's good, I guess. Look at that. And there's Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now?
I mean, you have been gone 22 years, so I can imagine things are going to be I different. I didn't bring the package. I didn't. You're right. Totally right. I'm glad I didn't work this job because I would have embarrassed myself right there. I would have walked in without the package. Looks like a big one. Probably supplies for the restaurant. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. Does it? So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> and Ashley, what? could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Uh oh. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Ugh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Honestly, first the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Okay, so it looks like we didn't hang out after all. All right, let's head back. There is one thing I did notice about this game already. For some reason, they didn't add any uh, lights on your vehicle. And you think with such a simple game like this, that's something that they would definitely add. But they did, and it, it's kind of lackluster. Also, there's no animation for getting in and out of the vehicle, which is kind of a little bit blah. Like, you think that if this is the major part of the game, you think they would focus on things like that to make it a bit more, like, fun and simplistic but eh, it just feels kind of rushed with it with that but let's go ahead and check out the rest and drive by here and get these uh, packages mailed Yeah, it looks like it's right here. Nothing to say about that one. Look at all the kitty cats out in the yard. Alright, let's 
Let's see what we got here. Uh, 200 Lake Road, that's it. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, look at the new kitty cats. Hi, kitty cats. Oh, there's a kitty cat on the roof. Let's see who the oh, kitty cat lady look, is. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name, then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Okay. 22 years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two oh my Genevieve's God. ago. The yeah, old cat lady. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred I'll Jenkins? I'll just pretend today. And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? Oh god. So what if I have slightly more of them than we I We found the Karen in town. Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am, I think it's a toy. Why would you say that? Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Well, anyway, gotta run. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. I didn't want to talk to Genevieve. her anymore. Meow. Oh, somebody's waiting. You could have went around, person. In a few days, I won't even need that map. I mean, probably will. Looks like we're gonna give it to this person. All right, let's see what we got for them. I think this is the last package it is. Hello, person. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And okay. I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Sure. All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. Oh, that's good. If that good. happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. I wonder if the, um the things, you know, you're replying. I wonder if that matters. I'm sure you'll get kind of a different dialogue, but some of them is so samey. It looks like we're delivering one quite a bit out here. I don't want to toggle the radio. Let me think. 
Where was Bear Creek again? Down here, apparently. Like I said, it would have been much better with like lights on the vehicle. Kind of odd it doesn't have it. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Cool, let's deliver mail. Oh. There's a new face. A rare site for a secluded lumberjack? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Oh, what the... Um, that doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Not good indeed. I'll be on my way. Bye. Uh, yeah, you too. Uh, uh, bye. And pardon my French. It's okay. We all get those kind of letters in the mail. I hope I hit his truck. I'm sure he won't mind. We're gonna go this way just because, you know, it's kind of cool finding another way around. Look at us speeding through the woods. They're crossing. Look at that. He went through the tree. Oh my god. Alright, let's get to the post office. Back home. Hello? Hi Meredith. It's mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Ah, oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Okay, then. Stay home and watch TV or stay home and read a book. Hmm. Let's read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter One. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet B. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. Ooh, interesting. Is it? Oh, 
All right, let's see what else we got here. We got a package up here. Four oh two pine. Commander Grace, we have established communication oh. with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket! Ground control, we have landed the rocket! We will now begin our experiments! Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute! Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted! Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. sure. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Okay. Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah. I mean, I guess not. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Sure. Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. So. I guess so. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Oh, wow. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! The heck was Listen, that about? I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. That was very awkward. All right. Circle around. Ran up on the sidewalk there a bit. 351 Main Street. Latest movies, latest series. Don't forget this is set in the 80s, so um, you're going to see a lot of 80s stuff. We have to check out some of these movies. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> 
Is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Um, well, I used to live here. Then I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Mm. <laughs> Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Funny. Miss. So, how's business? It's... Uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? I know about these small towns. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. All right. We gotta take a look at these movies. There's The Odd Father, Space Wars, The Terminator, The Kung Fu Kid, The Brunch Bunch. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, I like the little thing they did here. Some of them are really cool. What is uh, the Friendly Dead, of course. How could we ever forget the Friendly Dead? And then we have the Ghost Blasters over there. Back to the present. Heck yeah. Gotta love it. Alright, look at there, a vehicle. You don't see that much in this little town. Beep. Beep. Looks like it's just two male here. They have a tree house in the back. A lot of station wagons as well. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? She is so uh nosy with letters and stuff. I wonder if every mailman's like this. She's like, hmm, same handwriting. Is it a party invitation? Like, okay. Are you that bored? I didn't even stop there. Police are gonna pull me over. Let's go ahead and turn here. How far are the next ones? Okay, so they're pretty far and then we got one like all the way down. Here we go. I think these are our neighbors. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them.
Yep, and there's our house. Or our parents' house, I guess I should say. They didn't even animate her hands uh, to move the steering wheel. So odd. Odd choices to me. Oh god, look who it is. Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. Um. We'll say He's that. almost catato. Sorry. Heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. I don't know if I'm supposed to do Wonderful. this, Wonderful! But... Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this technically as a post office person, but sure. All right. Okay, so... We have to take that one uh, backwards. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn around, get her there as quickly as we can. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get Mortimer out the back. Mackie's Bait, Tackle, and Boat Runners. I guess it isn't this door. Not that door either. Is there anybody home? Maybe up here? There's somebody. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? 
Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. Well, that wasn't the most pleasant experience, but we got through it. Let's go ahead and deliver this last package, which is uh, right across the lake. to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Took a vehicle. Okay, so it looks like we're going here. to be a motel. Let's see who we got. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but... Here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Okay, sir. That a parcel for me? No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. Mm -hmm. All right, have a nice day. And I thought the other one was, um, weird. All right, and we're back at the post office. Time to end our day. Hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Yeah, 
There's not much to do around here. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep. Can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. Okay. <sighs> yeah, we're going to watch that movie. All right. Well, let's watch this. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. All right. And Good morning, all. P.O. It's time for a... Good morning. Oh, I hit something. Okay, folks. Let's see My what bad. it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, oh, we really, talked to her. Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. All right, let's deliver this this mail. I hear music. Is that from my truck? Just wanna watch oh yeah, because it will cut him off. That's all right. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, let's see. Let's check our map real quick and see what we got here. Okay, so we got a bunch behind us. I think we're gonna make uh, two left turns here and go do them since they're right here at us. Should have probably done those first and made a turn around, but that's okay. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you. I know it's a long one. I've recorded them in different parts, if you can't tell. But, um, yeah, I thought I would upload it in one thing because I know a lot of people won't check it out. Okay, so this is a package again for the Flick Shack. One we just heard on the radio. Let's see, it'll be this one here. I wonder what I happen if you put the wrong package. I wonder if they'll even let you do that. Hey, I forgot your name now, but. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? Angie, and that's the what tape it was. you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't Are we really flirting? appreciate the art of classic cinema. I can't, they just I can't, want to see I can't Police tell. Academy again. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Keep feeding my VCR and I'm being speed in no time. You seem to enjoy being the expert though. You well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. Oh my god, uh, that's nice to hear any particular reason. Uh, I'll that's just nice say that's to hear. nice to hear. I'm pretty because sure we're flirting. I have a sneaky little plan. Uh-oh, what's the little plan? Oh, we're whispering oh, now. we're whispering now? I want you to meet me 
say at, at five today. What, like a date? So we are, we're flirting. It, it's a lesbian flirting. Um, I'll say, is that the is plan? Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? Sure, All right. whatever. I'm in. Hurrah, I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? Inviting yourself over? That's quite impertinent. Well, hey, do you want to know my sneaky little plan or not? Oh, huh? well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Okay, she called me partner too. Video games, aren't they great? The only time a man can set up a lesbian relationship. <laughs> All right, let's get back into here and deliver the mail. Because we'll be delivering a female later. Okay, let's stop. I kind of want to quit this game right now. Won't get no better than that. <laughs> I'm hyper. All right. Let's go deliver 401 Main Street's letter. Okay, no, we're not. I guess we're not going to deliver this person's letter. 403. Boom. A lot of mail there. Did you see her hands? It was full. They, they important people. Or it's just nothing but junk mail. One of the two. Can't you go around me? You got this whole road. Like, look at that. I did not mean to turn on the radio there. I like that house. Or, wait, are we, where are we going? Okay, I'm going way too far. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to turn it around. Oh, illegal U-turn. Okay, and we got to go down this street here. Oh, the car's still sitting there. What the heck? I moved, buddy. Beep, beep. Okay, what are we doing? Which one is this? I like this alleyway. Is that car following me? I didn't want to be like stalked. Does she always put the... No, she doesn't. She doesn't put the same mail in there. That's pretty cool. I wish they paid that much attention to the vehicle lights and the animation to get in the vehicle. I still think that would have added a whole touch. A whole touch. But it may have been their style too. That car is still sitting there. Is he having car problems? Can I do anything to help the guy? Okay, so we got to go down here and then make a, a turn on Pine Street. Let's honk at everybody. Bark, bark. That sounded more like a duck. All right. Duck. I'm going to make a left here. I thought about... Oh, God, I almost ran into somebody. I thought about uh, turning the mini-map off and just going by street signs and stuff, but I thought that might get a little annoying for you guys, so... If I was playing it, like, by myself, then I probably would have done that, but you know how it goes. Alright. So this is 102 Pine. Do we have one for 102 Pine? We do. Alright. Let's see what shore we can knock on. I would assume it's going to be this one. Hello. Trying to deliver your right. packages. I'll leave it on the doorstep. Okay, no. I'll just leave it here. And let somebody steal it. Because it's right here at the road. I should have put it in the back. This ain't UPS simulator. Uh, let's see. We got quite a little... Oh, we got to pick up uh, Mortimer. I forgot about that. So let's go ahead and do that. Mortimer, we're coming. There we go. I'm 
pretty sure a United States Postal Service worker would get fired for taking a cat somewhere and then bringing it back. I'm, I'm like 100% sure that would be the case. But who knows, I don't work for the United States Postal Service and never have. Okay, let's, let's walk a little bit faster. I think it was straight up. You know, I just realized this video is going to be really weird because, in the because you know, since it's in parts, or in parts for me. Hi there, Hold Mr. On. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I only just started. I'm not sure yet. I'm having fun. I'm yes. having fun. Yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Try to be positive. You know, you got to be positive about everything. But what I was saying, though, oh, she did she have to put her in the crate, though? I mean, she was fine in her arms. But I guess we are going to drive, and that would really get you fired. Um, but what I was going to say, though, is... I don't remember now. Oh, it's going to be weird in the video because, you know, I'll record one one day and then one the next and just put it all in one video. And the last video, I don't think I talked this much because I wasn't as hyper. <laughs> so you're just going to, like, be watching and then I'm going to start talking like crazy. put her in the back here close her up this is sound effect of my door opening right there hey how did she end up in my what I put her in the back and she ended up in the passenger seat anybody want to explain that I know where she was located, so we're going to head that way first, I think. Yeah. Let's get on the right side of the road. Let me know if you made it this far in the comments. I'd really appreciate that, because if anyone says they did, then I'll be totally surprised. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. And if you skipped ahead and you just so happen to hear this part, that's okay too. At least you checked it out. I'd appreciate, or I appreciate that. Look at that lake. Oh, I'm driving on the sidewalk now. Here we go. Where she live? Let's see, was it this one? No, it was one up. That's right. She's got the swing set outside. Oh, look, she's waiting for. Her. Don't walk off. You know I got your cat. Delivery. A cat. Look who's back. Mortimer. Oh, look at you. You're good as new. Yeah, Mr. Mackey did not feed him cupcakes. Sure he is. Okay, sure is. I'm not even going to say He was just a little tired, I guess. Well. Whatever it was, I'm sure Bert took great care of him. And so did you, Meredith. Thank you so much. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. For on a first name basis with the cat lady. I don't know how I feel about that, but it is what it is. Okay, where are we headed to? Okay. So we're driving on down. There was the maintenance woman. All right.
All right, seems we're going to familiar places. This time it's back up here to Beer Creek. We got a letter to give him again. Hopefully it's not as bad as he uh, got the first time. Can I just give it to his mouth? There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. Of course day. it does. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it, build apartments. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down town hall. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... You know what? Maybe I, I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Good day, Mr. Harris. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Well, Maybe you want to go us. through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon? At Moe's? Food and drinks on me. Oh, no. So we can flirt with multiple people. Oh, no. <laughs> that didn't take you long. Yeah, sorry. I, I blurted that out. But it's still a good plan, though. Wait, I'm supposed to be visiting her after five. So I have to say I'm no. I'm sorry, but no. Okay, no problem. I'll think of something else. Have a great day. Yeah, because don't I meet her tomorrow, or was that today? It's okay. I, I could say no. He didn't seem very upset. I have a feeling that you're going to get things crossed and people's going to be mad at you and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Can't have people mad at me. Like, what? Okay, how do I... How do I... Like... Okay, there's Zoom. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm over here. So, we could get here. Um... Oh, I missed a letter? Okay, well, in that case, let's head this way then. Why does this look like the wrong way, though? Wait, which way am I going? Oh, no, I'm going the right way. Here we go, speeding. made it to this one. Looks like some postcards in there. Wonder where from. You just got a letter. You just got a letter. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. Before I get copyrighted by Blues Clues. <laughs> I would take it if I got to meet Steve. I don't know too much about the other ones, but I would meet Steve. I saw they all three of them did a TikTok. Oh my god, that car almost hit me. I saw a TikTok where they did, uh, like all three of them did like a TikTok, and that, that was pretty cool. Like, I don't know nothing about the other two, though. I barely know about Steve. But when they started changing all the digital stuff, and 
I felt owed one for one thing. The handy dandy notebook was gone. It turned into a handy dandy tablet or whatever it was. And instead of uh, you, we just got a letter. It was like we just got an email, and I'm like, no, nah, just no. I, I couldn't. I know kids these days don't even know what a letter in the mail is, but I really sound old. Oh my god, these kids these days they, they don't know what a letter is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over here and deliver mail. <laughs> I'm fitting this character perfect. Delivering mail and being owed. I'm a woman, though. Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fun day? I'm perfectly. I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare I guess so. you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Is he gonna Meredith blow it up again? Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? Um, it's all you know right, what? actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? It's a bit weird seeing a girl. I think I put my foot in the mail. I think yep. I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you. Especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? <laughs> you being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? I like what you did with the place. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World Aww. keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen, Stan died? I'm so sorry, I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been 10 years already. 10 and a half, almost. Wow. Oh. Boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's, That's a good not point. What Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? <sighs> I can't recall. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. <sighs> Nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. I'm not sure if we can pick up where we left off. It was good to see her again. It was good to there see her go. again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. We're never going to get the blueberry pie. <laughs> it 
It's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. Still didn't get my pie. I want my pie. That's what I'm going to name this video. I want my pie. I'll never remember that. So if anyone's watching at this time, they'll look at the title and be like, yeah, he's a liar. He, he did not name it that. Wide turn. Okay, let's head back to the post office and we should be having a date. Maybe. You know what? I think I just took the wrong turn. Yeah. I'm going to take this little path right here because I accidentally took the wrong turn. There's a deer crossing through here. I don't see it yet, but... Okay, I didn't see a deer. That was wide. Not a lot of traffic in this town at all. As I say that, there's two cars. Okay, that was weird. Felt like the game, like, done that on purpose. Look, the, the, the vehicles are still backed up from that car up there. Did I break the game? Hopefully it'll be reset now. Oh, there's a tire No, swing. Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python, <laughs> Brian, Brian, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. I contain multitudes. That's Walt Whitman, by the way. Not a movie, so I don't expect you to know. Ooh, touche returned. So, I thought that any was particular weird. reason you're not at the Nerd Factory anymore? Yeah, it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, oh really? Wow. Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower for another. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Wow, never seen one of those before. I've made a list of potential it's customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. I don't know if I'm even allowed to do that. I mean, I'd be using the truck, which is personal Thank you. service Finally property. Finally, they say it. I'm over here like, um, are you allowed you to do, do know this? Frank is your boss, right? He's not exactly a stickler for the rules. Plus, it's only two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This wow, one is so about murders in a use... bathtub, right? Well, not hmm. exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? So we're just picking. You know what? Let's just All do right. it. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. 
Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. I guess time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I guess so. Angie's so nervous. We're having a lesbian date thing Bye, right babe. now. And she called me babe just now. First the lesbian date ever. Come Hello? On. Hey, Meredith. Oh no, it's that. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. Uh, let's do Bert And Mackey. what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. <laughs> We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. Uh, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Hmm. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Okay, work on edit 87 material. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I can kind of get what they're going with in this All game. Right. Uh, we're we starting go. to agree to things and stuff like that. So we're going to have to adjust our life to make sure that we can fit it all. I'm pretty sure that's the way it's going to go. Oh, it's raining today. Ride and shine, P.O. The time has come for a P.O. Where are we going to start real quick? Um, let's just start around here. Let's go to the left. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. It's a positive this time, Jack. My cat, Mortimer, was feeling ill, but thanks to Bert Mackey and our new mailman, Meryl, he's in Meryl. condition again. That's fantastic news, Mildred. Now let's see if it will keep raining cats and dogs. I'm happy to say it will be dry later on with a bit of sunshine. Back to the playlist. All right, let's get out of here. Remember, our name is Mer uh, Meryl now. Ooh, interesting. Is it? We're looking at people's mail. All right, let's turn the music off, just in case. All right, do we got anything above us? No. Okay. Going back on this dead end road here. You know what? I, I don't know if I would, like, I think I wouldn't mind being a mailman. You kind of get used to the routes real quick. You know, I'm sure it's a lot harder than this game perceives, but it, it's kind of fun, and I don't know why. Maybe I like repetitiveness. Can you imagine if this game makes me want to be a mailman? Like, yeah, why not? Let's go, let's go try to be a mailman. Get back to her truck before we're drowned.
All right, let's see where we got to go now. All right, let's go on down and we'll end up on that road. Here we are, let's go down here. Hmm, these look like bills. I'm so sorry, 107. Gotta deal with bills. Did y'all not see me? What the heck? Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, excuse me. We'll park it right here. So let's see what we have here. We have 207 main. There it is. Mammy, remember this is Nancy Reagan. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. Sounds like a headache indeed. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. Okay, I just wanted to take pictures because I love taking pictures in game, so... Even, you know, something like this. Okay, here we go. Boom. Why is it telling us to return to the post office? We haven't delivered everything yet. Alright, let's see here. I didn't forget no package. Here we go. I got a blue mailbox. Here's your mail. If I was a mailman, I would want to do it like in a place like this and not out in the country because you 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 know you would have to stay in the the vehicle and deliver it that way. I would want to be on foot, I think. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have none more to deliver here, so we need to turn right. And I guess we'll go ahead and turn um, turn left. Oh, wait a minute. We got to turn right here. Then up here, we'll turn left. No stopping. Breaking the law. OK. 
Okay, we got another one at Mo's Diner. Let's see what happens here today. I get so many packages. Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Kay, about the other day. What about it? I really put my foot in it. Maybe it wasn't the best time for that conversation. We had to have it sometime. I suppose. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains mm -hmm. why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there. For you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Mo. Some things never change. Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Em. It was good to talk, I mean, you know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Funny. Alright. Ever since that date with the other one, I'm just assuming that everybody's lesbians, by the way, so... You know. Because I felt like there was something there, too. It was kind of like... You left me and not like in a friendly way. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too far into that, but. So it looks like we got a package here. So let's. Oh, it's at this farm. It looks like cool. It. Am I looking at that right? Is that a person in the middle of the dang farm? Are you a mailman? Oh, it's a metal detector guy. I'm gonna talk Hi to him. Hi there. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. Any luck finding something? Yeah, I found a couple of things. A uh, nail, penny, a soda can, empty soda can. I mean, you got a penny. Not the things you're looking for, I presume? I'm not sure what I'm looking for, to be honest, but I guess that's part of the fun. Saves me from disappointment as well. That's true. I like the way that, yeah. That's a nice way of looking at things. Exactly yeah. the way I was going to put it. Although maybe that's just what I'm telling myself when secretly I'm hoping for treasure. Exactly. Even a penny can be worth a treasure. Oh yes, metal detecting is a surefire way to become a millionaire. Whoops. Is it? Did I just reveal the world's best kept secret? <laughs> no worries. It's safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get back to it now. I need to be our MDC later. A metal, a detector. metal detectorist club. Nice. A metal detecting club. We compare finds, we discuss the hobby. Sometimes our club president gives a talk on things like buttons. Buttons. 
Mmm. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you too. This probably good my luck. favorite conversation ever. He might give us a talking to about buttons. Like, oh, okay. I wonder if that guy knows that he's on his property collecting buttons. Get out of here. Oh, the rain stopped. Now it turned into a nice pretty day. Remember the, the weather said that it was going to stop. Only in a game is the weather accurate. <laughs> Look at this big farmhouse. Guess we'll find out who lives here. Reynolds Farm. Will we actually talk to somebody, or will they not be home? Hey, uh... Hello, sir. Oh, there we go. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. If your name is Jack Reynolds, indeed. Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker? Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Okay. Nice to meet you. I think I've heard you on the radio. You did, eh? Well, it's what I like to do. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. Thanks, but I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen. Postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? You know what? Sure, no problem. Thank you so much. If I get fired, I mean, what am I gonna do? Just go back to work? Like, okay. I feel at the end of the game, it'll be like, okay, you did lousy on your job, you're fired. Cause here I am taking letters without stamps now. What kind of postal worker am I? I'm corrupt. That's what I am. Listen, we all live in a small town. It's okay. We can get away with this. He's over there now. All right, let's see what we're see where we're going. Okay, zoom out. There we go. Okay, where am I? Okay, um, so go to the right. Oh, oh my God, that's far. Here we go. Oh, got to get the package. That's all right. Hi. Hey, Miss W. You got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, tight. What are the options? Let me see. The Love Bug or A Nightmare on Elm Street. You'll probably love that bug. I'm wow. almost 16, Miss W. That's a kid's movie. Well, I watched it when I was in college. So you're saying it's an ancient kid's movie. Hey, I'm not that old. So you'll pick mm -hmm. A Nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love bug. I thought you didn't want that one. Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. She's got oh, a point. No, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's the love bug for me. Well, I'm sure you'll like it too. 
You'll get to see a nightmare on Elm Street one day. I guess so. It'll be really weird uh, offering Have a, a nice kid day. to come to my home. You too, Lori. Even if we are female, we're not going to do that. I'm guessing Frank could be at the post office, so we'll deliver it there. Hopefully he doesn't jump on us about a stamp. I mean, I could buy the stamp. Whatever. I got a new job. <laughs> Pam movie deliver. Two jobs in one. Hank hat that deliver. Walter Morgan, I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. Uh oh. I will be in touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. It better help. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had. You won't regret it. It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. A monster deal? That is so awesome. Big money, big prizes. Ooh, I need to calm down too. Yeah. Well, yes. Calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Eye of the tiger. Go get him, Steve. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, watch TV then. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean-Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean-Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. Good morning, Meredith. It's an envelope today oh, with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about something else. Is sports betting legal? Sports betting? Are you looking for a bit of action? I got this strange message on my answering machine. Someone from the Postal Service said something about an internal investigation? Really? Are you sure it's not a prank caller? I get pranked all the time. Listen, I have to get going. Catch you later. All right, let's go to it. Looks like we have one right across the street. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? Tina Banks oh, has the up. answer. P.O. Positive? We're going this way first. Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. Wrong one. It's 209 we're after.
All right. Beep. Okay, it looks like we're going to this house. Let's see what we got here. I don't think we've been to this one yet, I have we? didn't bring the package. Yeah, that would be useful. <laughs> My bad. Can you imagine just watching somebody come to your door without the package? Okay, this is a very small package. <clears throat> That's not the first time I ever heard that before. Answer. Okay. That's fine. Just leave it at the door. Let's go on a ram. Alright, let's check uh, our map real quick. Okay, so let's go do this letter and then we can kind of go that way. We'll drive on the wrong side of the road, it's okay. Hello. So it doesn't really matter which way we go. So let's just go ahead and turn to... Let's go ahead and turn to our left. Alright, we've been down this road quite a few times. So we know what to expect up I here. I remember Dad telling me... Or actually, no, this isn't it. The picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. This is a camping ground. We haven't been here yet. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Hmm. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! Oh god. What kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. <gasps> ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> I better get going. It was nice to meet you. Okay. Bye, sweet Meredith. We shouldn't even, we shouldn't even, you know, go there because I don't know how, what the repercussions of that would be. You know, a mailman talking about that. I don't want to get fired. All right, should we go on a round? Yeah, because it looks like we have mail all the way down there. So let's go on a round. Look at this, I'm gonna break the law. Oh, I was worried about not talking about papers, but yet break the law like that. Oh, shouldn't I take pictures? Isn't that something we had to do? I wonder if they'll drive by me. Cool, they will. Come on, drop by me. Oh my god, I almost got ran over. I'm sorry. They're probably thinking, what is the mail lady doing? Let's 
Let's get one of the truck just for laughs. Got three right here. I think that, I mean, that's the perfect place to do it, I think. Very party. I totally forgot about the camera. We got to take 12 of those pictures. There goes a cop. First cop I've seen. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. We don't have to stop here, but what we're going to do is... I feel like that's a pretty good one. Oops, I didn't mean to take two. Oh, well. Okay, um, about this cutaway here. Where am I? Hello? Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Okay, so keep going around. All right. Come on, get up that road. That's it. I don't know if we've been through here either. It's so hard to tell. I don't think we have. I believe this one's a new one. Here's your mail. It's like it's all grown up back here. Is this a, is this creepy? I feel like it is, but I did it anyway. Why is the mailman taking a picture of my house? That would be weird if you saw your mailman get out and take a picture of your home. Okay, let's see here. Um, Okay, if we head back and to the left. Whee! Didn't even look behind us. Oh! <laughs> oh, I hit the railing and I was scratching my nose. Okay, so I think we have to go through here. Let's make sure before we do. Um... Can I get, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, cool. And it looks like we just go on around this time. Looks like we're going to the same guys. All right. He's always outside. I got some more mail for you, Timber Man. You look very Please Canadian. Please, no. Make it stop. Maybe it's good news this time. Thanks, Meredith. Let's see if my day will be ruined. Oh, it's just a dentist appointment. That might ruin your day, too. <laughs> yeah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, 
highly confidential. Hmm. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. Not getting into that. Playing this like I would if I was in real life. Get in here. Oh. Might have to have somebody fix my dang vehicle if I keep on. Take it to the mechanic. I don't know how long this game is. I have no idea. Looks like we're gonna have to make a pick stop at the mechanic shop anyway. We might as well go that way. I need to stop stopping. I need to start stopping at those uh, signs there. Or actually, this isn't even a... Um, okay, my bad. Got in there for nothing. Hello. Hey, Lori. Did you watch the love bug? Hey, Miss W. Yeah, I did. Here it is. It wasn't the best. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I mean, it wasn't a total spaz, but it definitely wasn't my kind of movie. For sure. There's always plenty more movies in Angie's video rental shop. Have a nice day, Lori. Exactly. You too, Miss W. Okay. Is it possible to actually get work here? Like, I see the little oil can, but is that just saying, you know, what it is? Cause I don't, I don't think it actually does anything. All right, here we go. Looks like it's this house. Nice station wagon and little sedan in the the drive. Hello. Delivering your mail. Bye bye. All right. Looks like they left the lawnmower just sitting in the yard. Um, excuse me? Okay. Pick up. Okay, I don't know why I didn't do that the first time. Just trying not to walk on the grass, actually. This looks like a guitar. I'll leave it on the doorstep. Not a very busy day for uh, characters or anything like that. We talked to one. Very slow day. All right. Continue on and deliver the movies back to... Uh, 
Angie. And then I guess we're done for today. Look at that big wide turn. You can get some speed with this thing, that's for sure. All right, here we are. Are you robbing me? Is that why you're so close? Because this is awkward. Hello, Angie. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Uh... Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Okay. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. Yeah, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and okay, the so Dirty Dozen. Okay, so she's mad. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> wow. Angie. So she did think we was on our date. How rude. I understand you're disappointed, but you can't just assume that I'm going to give you the goods. God. At least wait till the second or third date. Or maybe never. How about that? Oh, he's right here. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. I figured fishermen and all. It's got to be Jaws, right? All right. Wait, where are we going now? Back at the post office, right? Because they didn't say anything. I do have everything done, yes. I might have missed it. I think I did, actually. It's 
today was a little slower. I guess we're gonna go try to appease Angie tomorrow if it lets us. We gotta let our lesbian relationship blossom. West Residence. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs. Mel instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Okay. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that... I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Yeah, we'll meet Kay. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Oh, we're Cecilia reading. hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was Ew. quite the dampener on Cecilia's that appetite. That just doesn't sound appetizing. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common slurped folk. Slurped rhubarb. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds the of hell? real life. Okay, here's Sunday. I guess we don't have to work today. The heck is this? I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. There is so much space. And people just start conversations with you and if they don't have to be as if they don't have to be somewhere else, I got you. Which is probably true. I mean, yeah, it should be interesting meeting Kay. Hey, Em! Em! Up here! Hiya! Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third leg. Should be good. I have to what? On, on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. Look, you, you were never even in the scouts. <laughs> it's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? Indeed. I want to take out my camera. Brings back memories, doesn't it? <sighs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? Any memory in particular you're thinking of? After school, talking about whatever we felt like coming up here by myself at night. We got to go Those with the Those times person. we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Hold up. I seem to remember it was closer to where you're standing. Like exactly where your hands are now. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. Kind of? I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? 
negatives. You know, I went to university, got a job. And maybe now it's time for something different. Is it now? Providence Oaks different enough for you? Well, maybe it is and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? That's for me to know and me to find out. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. <laughs> M still stands for mind your own beeswax, the, I see. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. I'm backing up. The off. dialogue is actually pretty good. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing. Make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but mm -hmm. I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan. That's sad. The shifts at the diner. I can't imagine what it must have been like to make that choice. I see where you're going, but honestly, I count myself lucky in a way. It gave me time to assess. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And now you still work at the diner? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things that. ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Oh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Yeah, seems like it's time. Come on, then. Sunday evening. Hello? You're speaking to Monster Deal Central. Mm. How may I help you? Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood? Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. At it, 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Oh, wow, that is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? 
I don't they really care, honestly. Bench. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue! M -m -m millions and and it's just a start. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? I'll see what I can do, Steve. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Okay. The Countess and the Carpenter. Here we go, chapter, chapter three. three. Come in with the most You're not even to watch TV Celia had uttered in a long time. They were instantly followed up by Get Out when she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Oh, I see. Steve's parcel and another note from Tess. Hey M, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um, yes, well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3? first paragraph I'm sorry that part seems to have slipped my mind it says in chapter 11 section 3 first paragraph and I'll paraphrase it is forbidden to use postal service property for personal gain oh okay sounds reasonable miss Weiss I'm aware that you've only just begun working here but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. He's getting on me about the other stuff, too. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes, or received envelopes from him, that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. Nope. No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. A lot about the last one, but... You're welcome. All right, here we go again. Top of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. P.O. Positive or that P. Take it away, Bert. Morning, Jr. I'm afraid it's a pet P from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. All right, let's go see if they answer. Nope, no answer. Wow, okay. People's very busy lately.
Okay, so uh, we got one there, so we'll circle around and then we'll go this way. We do need to pick up his movie box, though, and I'm kind of excited to do that. Uh, just because I want to know how that goes, so let's go up here. And we'll probably head that way, too, once we get done. I'm guessing our personal gain thing would also be these movies. So I'm probably going to get fired. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, car. All right. Let's see how we like Jaws. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did, I did. Took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. Hmm. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. I'm totally breaking rules. In a small town like this, I mean, come on. What's it hurting? I realize policies and stuff, but come on. It looks like it's abandoned. It might be soon. All right, let's head back now. Backing it, backing it, backing it. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin up. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. You know what? what? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or are you out? You know what? <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. All right. So we got that settled. That was pretty easy. She apologized anyway. So now we're going to have our first official label lesbian date. <laughs> oh, games. It's so funny. Okay, let's go. You know, every time I say something, I'm like, am I offending anybody by saying this? Hopefully not. Go. Didn't stop at the stoplight. Or stop sign, rather. 
They don't have lights in this little town. Delivering a letter to our neighbors. I forgot what they're called, like Ziggler or something like that? Big envelope. Look at that turn around. Beautiful. B-E-A beautiful. Nothing in the cat lady for a while. She's been very quiet about delivering these letters lately. She must have got tired of trying to figure out what they were. Because remember, she was like, oh, it's a postcard. Oh, it's this. Look at that turnaround. It's crazy. This is the only That's package we have today. Here we go again. Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? Oh, I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Okay, I'll take that into account for next time. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Okay, I'll be on my way then. Pretty sure he's just playing a video game, but okay. Now what? Almost empty. Hello. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Okay. Yikes. Oh, guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still ship faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Here Looks to help like Damien. we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. Canada? For good? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Gee, I don't know, June. June? Oh, please, sweet Meredith. I gotta run now. Be here Wednesday after sundown. No, thank you. Oh, we're already returning to the post office, are you? Fair enough, fair enough. Only three more.
Guess we should take one of the diner while we're here, huh? I see Marine walking in it. Wonder if I can actually go in there if um, I don't have a reason to. Because I could see them walking in it. Yeah, it looks like I can. Hey, Em, what can I do you for? Okay, literally, they're, they just did a little hand motion thing, and I'm gone. <laughs> That's a pretty good picture there. I'm going to take that as well. Got the mountain right there. Boom. With the car there, boom. Right. So I should be delivering those tomorrow to the other person. Am I going the right way here? Where am I? Um, I'm technically not, but I'm going to go this way. It's a longer way, but it's okay. I'm going to split it. No, you know what? Let's just drive up through here. We haven't been up through here very much. Take a little scenic route. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the post service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Uh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, you tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet? Yeah, I met him the other day. He's, uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I mean, just interesting. What do you mean? You know what I mean. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. No, oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama, Alabama Slammer. Slammers. Cheers. The 
This is fun. Oh. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. All right. Let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. At least give me some guidance, though, like... What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film mm. by this director called Eraserhead, which was, well, weird. Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite... memorable, as well. What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass-kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. Mm -hmm. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. Heard anything about The Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney movie, Mouse Detective. What do you need, a road map? All right, I'm ready to pick. Blue Velvet. Good choice. This is going to be... Interesting. <laughs> She's kind of creeping me out, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I mean, I'm kind of speechless, and that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it, and I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. At one point, I did begin to wonder... Do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it time. So anyway... My parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move! I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. You mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake and then just enjoy the sunset. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. Right. So, here we are. This is what? awkward. Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. I Screw it, might as well, know right? what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now. You gotta go all the way. Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Sure. Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy. Uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? <laughs> They're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Get to it. Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive or that P? Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. All right, let's see what we got here. It'll be this one. See if we get to meet these people. Oh, 
Oh, so you cut down a tree recently. Are you home? All right. Nope. I'll leave it on the doorstep. Okay. Not really getting too many new characters lately. Kind of a bummer. Let's go ahead and turn that music off. Got a lot of packages to deliver today. I see at least one more. Two more, actually. Three more on the mini map. I could just keep on seeing more and more because it looks like we got a lot of packages to deliver. Oh, we know who this one is. There we go. Let's go check it out. There she is. Oh, hey you. Hi. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Oh, really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> sure do. Or, wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? Wow. Sure, let's I'm just say that. I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touche. So anyway, what's on your mind? You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. I mean, that's a possibility. And in the wrong place? I think so, yeah. I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Ah, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, no. I am. Wow. I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Well, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? About your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. Well, that's kind of sad. Not going to lie to you guys. I'm, I'm very surprised I'm still playing this. I thought it was going to have some kind of like deeper narrative or you found out something and there was some like surprise, but no, I kind of went into this blindly and it's very basic. I thought it was going to be something you'll really remember or something, you know? Like Firewatch. Your mail. It was something basic, but yet it was this big story. You know, I should probably play that on the channel again. If I'm playing this, I can go back and play Firewatch. The last computer I had where I tried to record it, it was just awful. I don't know if you guys remember it. I think I took the video down. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, I might want to get the package. 103 East. There it is. Do we get to meet these people? Nope. Nope. No answer. 
I feel like they got a little bit lazy with the game as well, do y'all? Like, at first we was meeting all these characters and now it's just a couple. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of this is a waste of time. But maybe that was their point. I don't know. I know it's really hard to commentate sometimes because there isn't too much to say. Ooh, and I could fast forward it, but I ain't you know, about all that editing. Let's go ahead and go across the street. Got a couple things to deliver here as well. And I'm guessing they're right here at the end. This is Jackson Street. There it is. 301, so it'll be this nice house here. Hopefully we'll get to meet a character. Hello, can I please interest you in a conversation? Nope. Nope. No okay. answer. Fair enough. I could skip this whole day, basically. That's unfortunate. All right. Continue on on with more packages. We probably need to check the mini map soon as well. Or the main map, as I should say. I'm going to make a tur right turn here. Is it this one or it's this one? She did have a lot to say about even this little male, but she ain't said anything in a while. She just kind of puts it in and forgets about it. go with this one here. Looks like it's gonna be this blue house. I love the color of this house. I have to like commentate something. I mean, <laughs> I do like the color though. It stands out in this neighborhood. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look at where we're at. Okay, so it looks like that package is all the way down there. Uh, let's see, let's take this off. We got that one. So we got a few things. We got a package all the way down there too. So let's go down here and then we'll make a left and then we'll come back around. I believe that'd be the best thing to do. We gotta go talk to Robert, apparently. Kind of rude that um, Sadie just up and left like that without even really mentioning it. Oh, we're doing Moe's Donner here. We already know the address for this. There it is. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Can't get in the door. <laughs> Hi, Kane. Package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. 
Um, what is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A bunch of copies of the E.T. game? Ugh, I hope not. Okay. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Open it. Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer. That's oh, a keyboard. Man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this sure. synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. I know, you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie! I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now, but... Good to see you, and thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. I mean, this is just telling me I'm never getting my pie. Y'all remember when we first started this game and I said I'm never getting a pie? I'm never getting that pie. It's pretty, it's pretty well known now that I'm not getting a pie. I feel like this whole thing, I'm pretty sure I even said that, that I wanted a pie, and that was what I was going to name this video. I'll never remember that though, so... But, I want a pie. Alright, here we go. Then it wraps around here. Surely we'll talk to somebody here, right? Oh my god, look at this shack. That's a chainsaw. I hope nobody's actually living in here and they're using this chainsaw to cut it down. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. It's not really the doorstep, but okay. See, that would have been an interesting uh, thing there, but nope, just leave it. It's like they gave up on the story there halfway. All right, let's get out of here. I wish I knew some other games that's like Firewatch and this and stuff. I hate to play Firewatch again when it's so old, but I do kind of want to go back to it. It was kind of interesting. I might download it and play it for a bit and see how I feel about it. And maybe I'll download or play it and record it all in one video, just like this one. <clears throat> if you're even listening to this at this part, bravo to you. Thank you. And as I said earlier in the video, if you're just skipping through, thank you anyway, because at least you're checking it out. Oh, he's up in a tree. Okay. Hello, Robert. Hey, Meredith. I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Maybe, yeah. Good idea. 
Now that looks pretty realistic. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Yikes. I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Really? <sighs> what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Right, your wild card plan. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Um, right, and then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by, offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. I have a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds' bar. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. I didn't make other plans, did I? I don't even remember. I hope I didn't. All right, we're returning to the post office now. I will say this game's a lot longer than I expected. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so... Please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert. Take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Oakians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith. What do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Uh, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action! Fellow Providence Oakians, I'm Robert Harris. I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds wanted to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the... Uh, better get going. Good luck with those taters. Nothing wrong with a bit of her. Sure, I'll come along, but I'll leave the lovebird squabbling to you two. Right. Let's go then. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'm just very busy. Sorry. All right. Hey, uh, I gotta run. Corporate lawyer appointment. Bye. Damn. Rude. See what the contract right. says. Here we go again.
Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. So Frank's been suspended. How lame is Robin that? Oaks, good morning to you. Theo, positive report. That team. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake was a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. Let's see what the weather will bring today. We're starting the day with showers, but the sun might come back in the end. Here's your mail. Okay, let's go backwards. Every time you need me. Wait, it's actually over here. I'm telling you I'm here. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's back here. Okay, I see. Is it right here? No, it isn't. Wait, what the heck? I am so confused, so I'm just gonna go around this building. Maybe it's in her place and I just delivered the letters to her. I'll leave the truck parked over there. What's this? The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. God, she's already left. So much for those dates. Everybody always leaves me. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Back up. You see, I don't need to go down there, so let's go down here and we'll turn to the left. Go ahead and turn off the music. I didn't even notice it was on. So I guess we just won't hear from Angie ever again. So that was kind of a waste. Go ahead and deliver a package here. Should have one from Main Street here. There it is. Hello. Ah, there's the mail. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay.
getting a little crazy with this mail truck, aren't we? The next one. I haven't met a new character in a while. Feels Here's a little mail. bit lonely. We're gonna go to the right this time instead of the left first. Okay, I think that's the cat lady's house, is it not? I hope it is, because maybe at least they'll talk to us. Yeah, it looks like it is. Nice. Oh no, it's 202 Lake Road. So, it's the next one. Watch they won't be home. I will bet any amount of money. No. Nope. I know it. No answer. I swear they didn't finish this game and they just rushed the ending. If this is even the ending. I felt like the first of the game had a lot of like uh, purpose and, and you know curiosity and then as the game's going on it's kind of like blah. But I guess that's how work goes. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. Um, we can actually probably get to those easier just by turning around. So let's do that. I mean, it really sucks that that's how far it went with Angie. I wonder if you chose different dialogue if she would have stayed. That would be kind of interesting to know. I might watch somebody's playthrough when I get done to see if if things change that could be why mine's slow maybe other people's are more fascinating maybe i'm choosing the wrong things i don't want to crap on the developers because they made a pretty cool game here i don't know what size they are or anything like that either looks like we're gonna have another package for the diner maybe k or marine Look at us speeding through here. Ooh. Always a big one. Looks like it's gonna be marine this time. I don't see Kay. Hi Maureen. P.O. people. I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, Ash, darling, I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't flatter yourself, he's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm, I'm Robert Harris, Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town all know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Uh, do, do I say I helped out, or...? You know what? Actually, I helped out a bit when he was recording it at Jack's studio. Is that right? It is. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things wow. around in Providence Oaks now, was he? Hmm. 
Nah, he just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden town or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. I already had you down on my list, of course, but it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Why do I have the feeling I don't have a choice here? There you go. You're catching up. <laughs> now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back. But I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. All right. Get out there and deliver this last package. They're really trying to put me in romantic relationships with everybody. Like literally, I think I just had a girlfriend, I'm not sure. Y'all gotta give me time, okay? God. Okay, here we go. Going to the radio uh, host for a package. Maybe at least we'll talk to them. I hope anyway. There's this tractor. Oh yeah, it looks like we're gonna talk to him. Little small package. Hello, Reynolds. I forget your first name. Mail carrier Jack. Meredith. Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Rag's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hand. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks That's for dropping funny. by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. All right. Back to the post office we go. I swear this game takes so much time to deliver the mail, but yet you're getting dialogue just here or there. That's it. I almost want to cut parts out where I'm just delivering mail or packages and just show the dialogue. You know? I don't know yet, though. Because who would watch a video of me just driving around delivering packages? Then again, who's going to watch this video anyway? If you are right now, I owe you five bucks. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Almost to the post office. I think we're gonna do one more day here in this recording and I'm hoping this game is almost done and I know y'all are seeing this all in one video but I've recorded it in I think three or four parts right now that's why you may get the different uh, the different emotions okay I'm just back home 
Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up. The sky is blue. Life's good here. <laughs> nice. Wish I could say the same. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. It never ends. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talked to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Wow, that's quite a big step. Life-changing and all that. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... Are you serious? I'm pretty serious. I yeah. don't know how to pick that. But it's a pretty big deal, so... Just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, uh, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. He didn't say anything about Frank. Oh, what's this? Memories. Memories. Oh, I guess it's uh, singing. Memories. Mickey definitely isn't a hidden talent. Oh no, it's East people. You Wait, I said no to this. Me. What? Game, I said no. I literally said no to this and they're making me do it. That was really ho horrible. Can you stop, please? Oh, Mickey. <laughs> That was so deep. Right, Meredith? Uh-huh. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. It's okay, Mickey. I've had worse delivering mail. Delivering mail for the man? I couldn't do that. So, you guys are sticking it to the man, eh? Hell right. yeah. Can't stand the man. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. Whatever. I hate to be a square, but sometimes I think a little authority is useful. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. We're definitely gonna say no if they... <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? No thanks, June. I'm good. Aww. Oh, I guess I'll drink some wine by myself then. Be right back. I don't feel comfortable whatsoever. Is he gonna hit me with a guitar or something? Memory. Oh, here he goes again. Memories. Please let this night be over. Memory. Memories. Oh my God. Of you and me. Memories. All right.
got it? Here you go. Wait, I said no? So, are you guys on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, okay. I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? My piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. I don't, I don't, I don't really. Thanks, but no thanks. One oversized vehicle is enough for me. Are you sure? You should try going off the grid. Experience um, okay. real freedom. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. Please memories. let this night be over. Please. Jesus, please. All right, thank goodness for that. Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. Top we don't have the any Thursday callers morning. today, so I'll bring oh. up one of my own pet Wow, I hit the thing. P.O. positive or negative? The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of... I like how it always blocks us because we get out of the vehicle too soon. Uh, let's see. Got some stuff up here to do. So let's go ahead and do it. A lot of letters today. Hope something exciting happens today. So I'll probably get done with Days Gone. I'll try to play it tomorrow. Well, it wouldn't be tomorrow for you guys, but tomorrow when I'm recording this, and then probably Firewatch. I don't know yet. It really depends. I got so many ideas, but I haven't been pushing them lately because I've been so busy. I'm also doing like a wheel for wrestling games. I don't even know why I'm talking like anybody's listening to this. Oh, wow, we finally get to talk to Cat Lady. Listen, give me a good story, Cat Lady. I miss you. Ha! Ah. Oh, dear. You're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, hi, Miss J... Mildred? How so? Are you expecting more mail from your son? Is something wrong with the cats again? Are you really that happy to see me? Are Let's you expecting more mail from your son? It's just... this week... It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening, but I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. But what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh They're dear. all betting. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Oh, don't worry about it. Your hair looks just fine. No, no, no. My hair looks like a mess. I can't go out and about looking like this. Oh, 
I can't I can't look after sure her you cats. can Mildred I'm sorry but I have to be on my way again oh dear oh dear I need to go inside and calm down a bit I can't look after her cats you know I don't want to be involved in this whole gambling thing they got going on that's the only exciting things happening in this game but I'm playing this like I would, you know, in real life. There's that RV they left on. Pretty sure the RV's not even there, so that's why I didn't take it. Oh, I might want the package. That would make a lot more sense. Um, excuse me? I want the package. It's not taking the package. Pick up. There we go. That was weird. Hey, I don't remember your name, and you've been fixing that car for a long time now. Meredith! Look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It was left here by Mickey and June, that young couple by the lake campground. Oh, really? And now what? They told me I could have it if I want. But I don't. I can give it to you instead. If you want it. You know, keep it here and tinker on it. Oh, yes. That'd be amazing. You know I love tinkering. But it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. Beautiful. How about the sea turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the raccoon. Because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or the hermit shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like the sea turtle. The sea turtle. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. I hope she doesn't get in trouble for a stolen RV. That would be kind of weird, me giving a kid an RV and then it was stolen. Like, uh, sorry. I mean, that's not even the way it works. Someone can't just hand you a vehicle and be like, you know what, it's yours now. No, I don't. We need to go get it transferred over. Can't just hand it to me and leave the country. I mean, you could, but it uh, wouldn't be very legal. Alright, it looks like this package is quite far. So it looks like it's down this way again. Get all the trees cut through here. This time we're gonna kind of make a sharp right. Yeah. Kind of flows a little better. That looks like it's right here. These faces totally look abandoned. Okay, got the package. Let's go. I guarantee you nobody's going to answer this and we're just going to leave it anyway. Oh my god, I'm a liar. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh yes, <laughs> this is good stuff. Uh, 
Excuse me, sir? Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away! If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times! You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away! How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? It's not that. It's just that not everyone up here in these parts feels comfortable with us leaving packages on their doorsteps. <sighs> I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. Should it even matter who I am? Shouting at random strangers is generally considered rude. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here, and Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch, and thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says... Okay, so we technically left him on the porch anyway, even though that was uh, kind of an interaction. I'll take it. Get out of here and get back to the post office. And today is done. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Good afternoon, Mr. Morgan. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. I see. Well, thanks for the help. Where are you going now? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Let's see who it is. Hello? Hi, Am. It's me, Kay. Oh, hi, Kay. Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. Alright, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, I need to go tonight, and I got these tickets ages ago. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night. And I promise you I've called everyone and their brother. Besides, they're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get a shortcut to the question? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bail. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my God, are you serious? That would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Huge! No problem. So, what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit! Alright! See ya! We're at K's. All right. Who wants s'mores? Hey, hey, hey. Guess who's back? Uh, Frank? It's Frank. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. 
I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. What happened the last few days? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Are they criminals? <laughs> no, no, nothing that bad. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Sweet. I'm just gonna go with it. Keep them off our backs for a while. Ah, <laughs> yes. But that buffoon will be back. You can bet on it. Let's dial down the betting for a while, Frank. Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I better get back to work. A very good morning, Providence Oaks. Here, positive for that team. I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start fake coughing when I'm smoking in my store? If you don't like it, just leave. Thank oh, you Lord. much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking... Alright, let's check out this mailbox here. So fun. Doing our normal mail routine. Still not sure if I want to be a post office man or not. Because on one side of it, it seems really fun. On the other side, it doesn't seem fun at all. I know I'm going to deliver this package and nobody will be here. 402 Pine. Only got two packages today, it looks like. Wow. We need to go see about the photography thing as well. Oh, we got somebody. Wow. Oh, it's Kay. Of course it is. I forgot this was Kay's house. She's singing. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday Delivery K. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that was that cheesy. That sounded better yeah. in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes. Thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. No problem. No problem. They were great. I appreciate the lie. <laughs> <laughs> so... How was the concert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, Journey is so... So good! Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Yeah, I heard you singing. Eh, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. One spleen, two bands. That's quite the potential dilemma. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper. Or you can Run definitely DMC, tell this is the 80s. Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Oh, I would never. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just, you know? Not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. 
Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Kinda Holy crap, that. I just said that out loud. Dude, you are coming to the open mic, right? Of course, that's great. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Nope, ignoring that. Bye now. <laughs> the dialogue is still the best part about this game. They should have done way more. Like, they've actually done really good at making, like, cheesy lines and things like that. I'm not sure why they didn't, like, do that more. I'm sure they was, you know, pushing the game out as quick as they could, but still. I love it. Whoever did the voice acting, bravo to you. Hmm. These look like bills. Oh, now she's talking. I just said in the other video that she isn't talking very much. Or the other video. This is all one video, Arnie. You're not doing it in parts. God. Alright, I guess we're gonna take... Oh, we don't have to go down to the right this time. Anything to the left? I need to check my big map. Alright, let's check it real quick. Um, Yeah, there is one down there. We'll go ahead and... Go down there and deliver it. All right, here we go. It says Blue House again that I just talked about. I almost said in the last video again. <laughs> when I record in sessions like this and then bring it out as one big video, I just want to call it, you know, stuff like that. Stuff like videos. Uh, should we go to the right or left first? Uh, let's see, how far is that? Get this out of our way. So that's just there. And we got one down there, so we could just... Because if I'm going there, all the way down there, I might as well go around. So yeah, let's... Let's go ahead and um, go to the right here. Because if I'm going all the way down there, I'll, I'll go all the way around. Just for a different scenery, so... Might as well go for it. I know the cat lady's probably mad at us. All that betting and stuff going on. I'm just ignoring it. They better be glad I don't turn them in, yeah? I'm a very proud postal worker, okay? They're doing illegal betting on the side. Like, what small town does that? <clears throat> Small towns are never known to do that. Ever. Sarcasm. In case you can't pick up on it. 203. She ain't got nothing to say about all these. You know the funniest thing ever? You may not even be hearing my dialogue here. I may just fast forward it and cut myself out right here. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of me talking for no reason. So I figured I might as well talk and get something out of it. Bye. There's the RV. Looks like she is working on it. Let's see. It looks like we need to go down that little... Yeah. So we're going to have to turn up here. Here we go. Look at this amazing turn. That looked better in my head, I'm not gonna lie. We never went back that way. Oh my god, I just rammed a tree. Jesus. 
I'm surprised I didn't go out the windshield. Oh, it looks like we're going to the lumberjack now. Let's see what he's got to say. Because remember, we're supposed to try to save it from the apartments. Watch, he's going to get sued or something. Meredith! Hey, Robert! How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks, and likewise. Hmm, priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at wow. least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked! The plan wow. worked! Wow, great! So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's. Or something else. On me. I hate to turn the dude down, but I got stuff to do, man. Um, uh, I don't think I can make it, Robert. Oh, well, okay. Uh, have a great weekend. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Man, it's really odd. So I did look up a little bit about this game, by the way. I know that it's weird me saying that with it being one video and all, but... Once again, I'm recording in sessions, but I've looked up a little bit about the game, and um, there is like a, hang on, which way do I go? I go this way. There is different uh, things that can happen, like I noticed on someone else's that, uh, what's her name? Uh, Angie. She didn't leave, so there is certain things that can happen and certain things that, you know, so I must just suck. And I almost went off a cliff there. I thought we would uh, go to the music lady. Or not the music lady. The, uh, the picture lady. But I guess not. Where are you at? Okay, you're not here. You're on the other side? Hello? Fisherman, there you are. Ah, the wax worms have arrived. Ew, have I been walking around with worms? <laughs> you sure have. They're just in time. I'm taking the boat to the island this afternoon. Oh, nice. A boat trip. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Um, you know what? Just for the video, oh, let's really? do it. Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. What's today, anyway? It doesn't say. Oh, wait, yeah. So, it's Friday. Isn't today the, um... The music thing? I just told him I would come to him. Oops. Did I overbook myself here? I don't care if the fisherman gets mad at me. I just don't want Kay mad at me.
There's a person in the road. So here we are. So. Is this a quiet day or does it always take this long? <laughs> He's probably like shut Fishing up. Fishing requires patience. You've only been here for two hours. I'm afraid patience is not my strong suit. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. Okay, then. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Never mind. I'll stop bothering you. <sighs> we ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. It was not a fine day. What? Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Is this going to be bad? <clears throat> okay. I hope this isn't copyrighted because that would really suck right now. I don't think it would be, but. Driving along the highway. Oh my lord. Headlights light up the sun. Yeah, Thinking of what, what the hell? Happen. Radio keeps track of time. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? Hmm. Let me think. The m, -m, -m monster deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you, about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company, and I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Oh! Wow, Steve, that sounds great. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Okay. We're gonna watch TV this time. Previously on Bon Appetit. That burger joint across the street is killing our business. I don't get it, monsieur. Our food Didn't is already watch so this one? much more sophisticated and delicious than these disgusting hamburgers. Don't you agree, Jean-Paul? Oh, yes. These hamburgers are fantastic. Okay. postcard from Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. 
I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Okay. So it does all tie back together, so we gotta try to figure out Happy Saturday, uh, what we're gonna everyone. do then. It's we have a couple choices. A That's pretty cool. I was thinking that it was gonna Today's be over and Angie's gone forever. Cheryl. So it just makes me think, what are, we, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna go back to work and get that significant pay raise? Are we gonna do something with Angie? Or are we gonna stay here at Providence Oaks? I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. All right, that's a good one. That's a really good one. That's amazing. Eh, could be a postcard. All right, I accidentally got two of those. I mean, all in all, pretty good, right? Like, come on. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. If you'd have picked them up earlier this week, you could have participated in a photography contest. Well, I didn't know that, you know. Well, I don't think I would have won anyway. Eh, you can probably only win contests like those if you're professional. I'd like to think that talented casual photographers also have a decent chance. Well, one can always dream. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not All right. trying to swear Get out of here. Alright. Actually, it's behind us. Is it this one? Nope. It's 205. It isn't this one either? Wait. Oh, it is this one. Okay. It didn't come up at first. So I'm still not sure what to do yet. I'm just kind of going to go with it as we go. Because if I leave Providence Oaks, then I leave K2, and that's not really right, is it? We're just becoming friends again. Actually, I got more back here. I'm trying to think of what I would do in real life. I'd probably stay, let's be honest. I don't know. Probably wouldn't have never left the job anyway and came to Providence Oaks. So if I done that, then what would I do? Alright, let's deliver all this stuff. Okay, fellow Providence Oakians, it's time once again for the sent in letters and announcement. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo as we all know. Hey folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some whale performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, <laughs> folks. And I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? 
Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. Did I even give him letters? Like, I, I, I don't think he took the mail. Hi there. Have you found anything today? Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, a few things. Nothing spectacular. A tin can, a hoard of ancient gold coins, and a ring pull. I was lying about the coins. Ah, okay. Well, good luck. Thanks. See ya. All right. Straight to the point. Uh, wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Go in here and see him playing on his video game. I knew it. You know what? I'm busy. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. You're welcome. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. I know the feeling. You know what? I can beat this damn game. And I'm not quitting until I have. Okay. Just leave. Trust me. There's nothing good to say. Just leave. <laughs> Oh, there's a cop. What if I hit the cop? Ooh, look how close that was. Delivering mail out later than usual here. Why are my lights flickering? Um... Excuse me? I don't think that's supposed to be there. I'm I'm almost a hundred percent sure that ain't supposed to be there. We're just gonna ignore it. That's the best thing to do. If you don't like what you see, ignore it. Oh, it's raining in the tunnel. Come on, y'all could have done better there. All right, so here we are returning back to the post office. Maybe for the uh, last time ever. This could be it. I got a feeling that I'm going to make a decision here, and we'll see where we go from there. All right. And so oh, it's a week full of turmoil. Are you happy it's over? Only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. I guess you can't have it all. We're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Sorry, Frank, but I really don't care about sports or gambling. <laughs> Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about it. Or I'll try at least. Fair enough. Have a great weekend, Meredith. No wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Are you serious? Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. You gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well, I, 
actually really loved it. Awesome. Maybe you should just keep doing it. Worked out well for me. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oak? Hi, Mom. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about here? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <sighs> thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? He likes that. Oh, running out of coins. Gotta go. Bye, Em. Take care. Okay. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 4. No one screws better than the Carpenter's Apprentice. Old Mr. Nabenshu acted like he was an expert on the topic. What he's done back there is nothing short of astounding. I'd hire him for any job and I'd pay good money for it. I never expected that the fence he repaired would survive last night's storm. September the 14th morning. Nope, that had it. I could never have predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be like this. I met so many new people, some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so, but all of them interesting in their own way. A temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of the actual experience, a change of scenery always has its upsides. That probably also holds true for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. I still don't know what to do. Here it is. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So. I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. That's funny. Uh, this I one's for our own that. newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! I've heard that one. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. 
Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where right, did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? I must admit, it, it's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair. <laughs> now I'm here looking like a loser. That's funny. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this, but I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Guess who? Jeffrey Beaumont? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better, though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Not much. Jack just did some comic, but the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well, then I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you. Hey, Angie. Hey, Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. So she's taking the sea turtle? An RV, huh? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice, which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm going to use to motor right out of this sad little town. Hmm. So you're definitely leaving? Absolutely. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind and go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. I don't, I don't, see, I don't know how to answer. Hmm. Maybe it's I not a choice. I'm just going to click it. Of you, you know. Likewise, Miss Weiss. But. At some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Okay, I'll let you know. Dear people, none other than our own Kate. Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Okay, here goes nothing. No one clap, by the way.
This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, All right. thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Okay. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again, if they let me, of course. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Em. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say it was good to have you back these past weeks. I'm really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch, whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, Kay. Thanks. For everything. See, that's really good, friends. She was like, do whatever you want, because I was like kind of torn. I was hoping my that she would people, make my the decision. Time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. All right, so now we got to make a decision with Angie. Oh, there's Maureen. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that? if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like. Something on your mind, hon? I don't know. I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? 
You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just, but that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back? Honestly, no. No clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. Basically, yeah. I guess I am. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. That's uncharacteristically deep. Sue me. Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after. And whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. Once there again, the... Joy, and there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? The voice acting in this is amazing. Thanks, Maureen. It makes sense. You'll be all right, huh? You just keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Maureen? Thanks for everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. If I had that many people in a town, though, Good that morning, I was connecting Meredith. to, I think I would stay. I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith, thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. Oh. You know what? We're gonna do but it. But no. I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you gonna do? Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going I didn't back say to that. the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. Can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. I'd love to take one last look over the lake. All right, go grab your stuff and let's go. And the V-Belt is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The sea turtle and all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. <laughs> You're very welcome. I thought you really wanted to have the RV, Lori. I wanted to work on her really badly. But now that she doesn't need any more work, Angie can at least drive her around. Since I don't have a license, and I'm not old enough to get one anyway. I'll keep you up to date on all our adventures, promise. It'll be like you're right there with us. I'm counting on it. Have fun on the road, Miss W. Thank you, Lori. Will you be back? Probably. I made some friends here. I'll want to see them again. Okay. Well, if you ever find yourself here again, come and say hi. I'll show you how the sea turtle is doing. Sure thing. 
I'd like that. See you around, Lori. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, about that. Hmm? Should I go alone or should I go with her? You know what, screw it. I would really, seriously, definitely like to go with you. Oh, wow. Well, let me think about what? it for a second. Yep, thought about it. You can oh. come. I've grown quite fond of you, Angie. Hadn't you noticed? And here I was wondering if it was just my imagination. The feeling's mutual, babe. I'm in the driver's seat, by the way. I've heard about your driving. What? What have you heard? From who? People talk. That's right. When advertising exec David Howard, parentheses Albert Brooks, is passed over for a promotion and subsequently fired, he decides to change his whole life. He convinces his wife Linda, parentheses Monica Johnson, to sell their house and roam the country easy rider style in a Winnebago. Okay, forget this one. That's just not going to be relatable at all. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We've got nothing in common with those guys. I have another flick where a bunch of academics set up a ghost hunting business in an old fire station. That should be way more accessible. Angie Eastman, have you seen every single tape in here? Not all of them, but most. Come on! But I don't mind watching them again. In fact, I'd love to see them with someone who... Knows nothing about movies? I was going to put it a little nicer than that. Someone who has unspoiled virgin eyes. Virgin okay. eyes? What, are you a poet now? <laughs> All right, well, Lost in America will unspool before these virgin eyes soon enough. Tell me about Stand By Me. It's about four kids from Oregon, right? Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own Kay Evans. All right, so there was the lake. I really appreciate you watching it if you did. Uh, please hit the like button if you did. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was kind of boring there at the end, but it was okay for what it was. So, thank you for hitting that like, and as always, you could be a pal and subscribe. <laughs>